chair and look at this elegant 1930s one man camper van. Well, I'm here in Yorkshire to meet the owner of this fantastic vehicle, so it's chocks away. Well, back to present day. I'm not really that old. I know I look rough, but I had a bad night. Okay. Well, with me is Steve. Now, he owns this gorgeous van. Now, Steve, when did you first get interested in vintage vans? I've always grown up with a, an interest of, of old cars and things. And I, I think there's a lot of character to them. Well, there is. I mean, it's a beautiful van. It yes, really is. How long did it take you to build it? Because you did build the car, didn't you? Yeah. In, in total, about two years. That's not very long. Places. It's they're actually a replica of... Ah, so it's not so it's, it's, it's a replica. Yeah. So you've used different parts of other cars. Yeah. So what parts have we used on here then? Well, the, all, all mine is Ford Sierra. It's a 1.6 litre. So the engine, engine 1.6 yeah, Sierra engine. You could very easily put a V6 engine in it. And right, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, it? It's not right. critical. Okay, what's the chassis then? The chassis is a uh, purpose made for them. It's a uh, special proper ladder frame chassis design. Right. It'll outlast any car really? being mass produced today, yeah. Right. And also, you've you've converted it, haven't you, into a camper van? Yeah. Why did you do that? It's I go to a few of the shows that's about. Oh, right. If you go for a weekend it's it yeah, look, it's it looks, handy, isn't it? It's handy, it's mm, cheaper. It's cheaper and you, it looks different as well. The bodywork, what is it made of? What is this? It's actually all the rest of the body is fiberglass, the bonnet is a proper American right. pressing. And I know you've worked very hard on the interior. I mean, it looked gorgeous when I was driving it. Would you let me have a look inside? Yeah. Let's go around the back and have a look then. Okay, well we're here. Let's have a look in the back of the, the van. Oh, that's lovely. That really is, and very clean too. Steve, very impressed. So what have you got in there then? We have a sink, yeah. a little cooker, and plenty of cupboards for So basically you've got your own little kitchen in there. Yeah. Clever man. And I can't believe that you actually sleep in the back of that. Oh yeah, yeah. I really can't believe that. You're lying, aren't you? Oh no, I, I can't How tall are you? I'm five foot ten and I can lie flat out in it. No way. Yeah. Well, I don't believe it. I actually fit in. And I've got everything I need here, including the kitchen sink. So I'm going to spend the night here with Teddy. So from me, Eve Frelkeld, and Teddykins, see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>